Start with this, Mike. I want to make sure I have this quote directly. I was told that earlier today when asked about signing day flips, you said, quote, I asked Santa for some defensive help. I said I was a good boy for most of COVID. Yeah, he came through, man. You know, I got a, a really close relationship with Santa being born on Christmas <laughs> Day in 1969. And, you know, my mom's birthday was on Christmas. So this time of year, man, he usually comes through for old Coach Locks if I do, if I do right by him throughout the year. Old Coach Locks, I like it there. Um, you know, before you joined us, we were having a chat about how things were different uh, due to COVID-19. Give me an example of something that happened during this recruiting process that wouldn't have happened in a normal year for you. Well, I mean, I, for us, it, I mean, what didn't happen in it? I mean, you know, these Zoom meetings and uh, trying to set up all the technology to create, you know, the 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 meetings and the, the relationships, you know, I'm a personal relationship guy and, and COVID really screwed it up for me because I think people buy from you if they like you and it's hard for people to like you fit virtually because you don't really get the warm and fuzzies of seeing the person sit down in front of you and, and really see the body language that that's involved. I mean, I know you do have a camera, but it just wasn't personal enough for me. Uh, and fortunately, for the 21 class, we started really early because the day I got on campus in 2019, you know, I, I think recruiting is a two year cycle where you have to build these relationships. And we were able to do that before COVID kind of caught up with us in March and, and been able to keep these guys on board up until signing day. Well, you did a pretty good job for not being ideal situation, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Why was that such a focus in this class? Defense wins championships. You can ask Coach Donardo that. Uh, anytime, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, the holy trinity of having success in football is having a dominant O-line, a dominant D-line, and having a quarterback. And for us, you know, last year we met a lot of our needs on the offensive line, uh, signing six guys. But this year, with losing some of the players we lost, we really needed to go out and, and fill needs on the defensive front seven. And we feel real good about this class. Uh, you know, a lot of talented players in our front seven. If you want to win in the Big Ten, you got to be able to run the ball and stop the run. And we put quite a bit of uh, emphasis, and our staff did a tremendous job of identifying the right kind of players to come in. And you know, now we can add these guys to the last two classes and, and hopefully get through this growth phase and get to the success phase of where we want Maryland football to be. And you got all these great defensive linemen, but then we mentioned the late add of Brendan Jennings. Why did you like him? You know, again, you know, you look at the pedigree. His dad, Bradley, was a great player at Florida State when I, I was here at Maryland as a coach and young and as a young assistant in the late 90s, having gone against him. Uh, recruiting is a relationship business. And, you know, we were fortunate that we were Brian Williams, our outside linebacker coach, de defensive line coach uh, this year, had a really close relationship with the family growing up with the dad, George Hilo being from Jacksonville who coaches our inside backers, uh, had a really close relationship with the, with Brandon. And, you know, when you look at the type of player he is, I mean, he's in the mold of a guy like Eric Barton that we had who had great success. And, you know, he's a runner and a hitter. And the thing I like about him is tremendous leader. And, you know, you want your leaders to be in the middle of your team, your center, your quarterback, your Mike linebacker, and your free safety. And he fits all those traits. You know, you told me when you took the job, one of the challenges for you was trying to convince people that despite the fact that the on-field success hadn't been great, it could be cool to go to Maryland. Now that you're a handful of months into this now, how do you feel you've done on that? You know, it's, it, we're still working on the cool part, man. You know, it's been really inconsistent on the field, which, you know, I feel is a byproduct of being a young team. But I saw us take some groups take the next step in year two as we've tried to build this thing i like the way we play with toughness i like the effort that we play with we've got some talented players uh, all across the field for us but now we just got to take the next step of being disciplined and playing smart uh, and taking care of the football and limiting big plays which we haven't done especially the last couple of games and we got to get back to those uh, successful traits and habits and you know the wins will come well, your recruiting classes keep getting better, or like as you told me, turtles don't ever move backwards. Right, Mike? <laughs> That's exactly right. Great memory. Merry Christmas. Have a great holiday, man. Thank you.